Sheffield United's failure to beat Barnsley means that they have also been relegated. The task was made harder when Danny Haynes put the tights ahead after just quarter of an hour. But Matthew Lowton's fourth goal of the campaign made it 1-1. And there was cause for optimism among the Bramall Lane faithful. Especially when Lee Williamson put them 2-1 ahead just before the hour after a fumble from Barnsley keeper Luke Steele. But in the 84th minute, that delight turned to despair. Haynes made it 2-2, and the Blades' fate was sealed. Mickey Adams says it's the lowest point of his career, but he does want to take charge of the team next season, and in a year's time, be celebrating a return to the championship. The dream of a cup upset may be over, but for Ian Barraclough, the scoreline didn't reflect Scunthorpe's performance against Manchester United. 5-2 sounds a bit of a beating, but when you look at it, the stats uh, are there that we've we've gone and created. 23, 24 chances on goal. Their goalkeeper's been man of the match. Um, you know, and they've they've created 13, got 12 on target and scored five. Undeterred, the Iron have kept with their tradition of promoting managers from within to give Barraclough a chance he couldn't turn down. From a player, I wanted to be a coach. And having coached, I've, I've always wanted to be a manager. I've never hidden that fact. And um, now I've got my chance. I'm more than happy to take this role on a permanent basis. It's right for me. It's right for the football club. Uh, and uh, I've got a chairman that, that has, has backed me right from the outset. Um, for someone to say that he's pinpointed me for two years for the job, um, astounding me, really. Even though they lost, Wednesday's game was a landmark for Josh Wright. To get my first goal for the club, which has been a long time coming, and against who it was and on the night it was, I can't ask for much more than that. It's a new era under the gaffer. He was part of us and he sort of kept that. Obviously, he's got to be slightly different now where he's the manager. But Barra, he's a, he's a top man, and as I said, I've enjoyed playing under him. I think everyone else does as well, and we're looking forward to what the rest of the season brings. And the challenge now for Barra Clough is to stamp his style onto the team with the confidence that he will be fully supported by the chairman. In the past, he's given managers time. Uh, to one, get over disappointments, to try and uh, rally the club uh, and, and come back stronger the following year, and uh, I think that's been proved right. Last time we got relegated from the Championship, we came straight back up, and uh, I'm not saying in any shape or form that we're, we're going to get relegated, because I believe we've got a group of players, and hopefully I can add one or two to them that will keep us in this division um, and can keep this club going forward.